Hello guys, in this video I am going to talk about an interesting utility called YAML. So YAML is a human readable data serialization language. So data serialization languages are basically um, are quite different from the markup languages like HTML or XML um, because they do not have any predefined structure so they are not easily parsable but their goal is a bit different. Their goal is to just present the data in a more human readable manner right so they come pretty handy when you want to represent your data structure to the user in a more readable way so you can use yaml in python as well and let's see how we can do that right so let's consider an example let's consider this uh, data structure um, there's a variable called data which is storing this uh, complex dictionary this dictionary has many keys and it has nested dictionary and it has list inside dictionaries as well so it's a it is a pretty complex data structure and when you try to print it um, in a more readable way on the console um, you may have some difficulties because you will have to take care of the nesting as well and you will have to use multiple print statements and whatnot right so it makes a task very difficult for you when you want to print such kind of complex data structures so what you can do is that you can use yaml so yaml comes pretty handy here so to use yaml in python programming language all you need to do is to install it um, you need to install a third party library called pyyaml so what you can do is that you can use a simple pip command um, and just type pyyaml and it will get installed so i already have one right so now let's see how we can use it so first of all you need to simply import yaml so what you need to do is just type import yaml as simple as that and after that um, okay let me just copy this data so that we have something called data here okay so now if i just try to print type data print data um, i get again a json structure it is not that readable right so now what i can do is that i can use yaml so i will do yaml dot dump so what yaml dot dump will do is that it will return a string a string which has this complete data in a more readable manner so i can just do yaml dot dump data and look at that i got a string right so let me print that print yaml dot dump data so look at that what i get um, it is already printing the complete data structure for me like name age handles languages and look at that indentation for the nested structures because Languages had two keys markup and programming. So it is showing it with a indentation here, right? So this is how it looks, but the result is still not very satisfactory because um, The nested data structures are not getting printed in a better way. So for that you can do um, you can just set that the default flow style should not be taken into consideration so actually the default flow style will ignore the nested structures so to consider that to consider the nested structure you have to just set the default flow style as false so now look at that how prettier the data is looking right now right because you got uh, the dictionary has been printed here in, with an indentation in a pretty nice way and then the list the list is printed with those dashes here and dash html dash xml dash aiml right so it's looking pretty nice now so this is the main use of yaml that i wanted to show you that how you can convert or you can say how you can show the complex data structures uh, how you can print them in a more readable manner okay so there is one more um, way of using yaml which is the other way around of what we just saw what is um, what I mean to say is that you can convert any string to a nice Python data structure as well so let's say let's see this example as well let's let's see um, let's say I from somewhere I got a string like this so from somewhere I received a string which contained the data like this right so it is quite possible that you may get this kind of data in some pdf or a doc file right so i got this data but now what i want to do is that i want to convert this data to a uh, python data structure 
so what I can do is that I can just apply some kind of splitting stripping on this uh, string and convert it to the Python data structure but a more better way is to use YAML again and this time you will have to do what you will have to load the string YAML dot load and then just pass the string and the magic happens look at that it has converted this string to a Python data structure which is a dictionary and those lists right so it's totally same as this one right so it's looking it's looking pretty cool right so this is how you can use yaml.load and yaml.dump to do these kind of interconversions between simple raw strings and the python data structures and this is why that's why yaml is quite an interesting utility so i hope you liked the video that's it from this video thanks for watching